Fancy squat. I got the sun in my face. What's up, everybody? My name is Tyler. Uh, today we got with us the stump jumper, the short travel, short version, little brother of that stump jumper Evo that I've been riding and loving for the last couple months. This is just a uh, we'll call it first impressions. This is not my bike. Super fortunate to get loaned this bike to get out on one solid ride on, plus very short period to do some filming that you'll see throughout this video. So this is very much first impressions. Um, this bike is actually the expert version, which is awesome because it's pretty apples to apples when comparing to my Stump Jumper Evo. But we're just gonna focus on this guy for now. So with that said, it not being my bike, I did bare minimum in terms of adjusting it to me in order to keep it as close to how the owner has it. Just don't wanna mess up their personal bike. Disclaimer, while this bike is fully stock, other than one thing, they did change the wheels. So this bike's running some carbon Roval Traverse wheels, I believe. Weight wise, I think they're pretty similar to what's stock. So I feel pretty comfortable kind of separating that from the uh, impressions. But let's dive into it. So just looking at some notes here, when I was riding this bike, this bike is really supportive in the pedaling while being still active. So by that, I mean the, the bike wants to stay high up in the travel. It, it gives a lot of good support as you push into it. It's not just sinking through the travel. So that's really nice. It's firm, but it's grippy. So this bike does have a rigid back end in the sense there's no pivots. So it's flex stays. So you're relying on the carbon to flex. So it's definitely a stiffer sensation. I have uh, the Specialized Epic personally, so I was already used to it. But if you're not, if you've never ridden it before, it might feel a bit different, but not anything bad. Going over small bumps where I was testing the bikes here in California, there's a lot of really small rocks that are just built into really firm dirt and the bike does a great job opening up to eat those bumps up but not blowing through the travel. So it's a really efficient pedaler. It feels really good. Notes here I got, it's quite a good climber. So this bike is really balanced. On the downhill, after adjusting, I did have to make a little bit of adjustments to the settings of the fork but after adjusting it, it feels great downhill. It really, first impression, once again, it left me going, wow, with some fine tuning, I really am curious how capable this bike can be. I think there's a lot in it, given the travel. Uh, I think you can get a lot out of it. I don't think it's gonna hold you back on too many descents. Maybe in the bike park, it's gonna run out, but for your everyday mountain biking, it's gonna be great. Descending, it feels light. So this is a couple pounds lighter than the Evo that I'm running but it feels light on the trail. It's easy to move around. That could be the carbon wheels, but I don't think they're all that much lighter than the stock wheels. But yeah, it just has light characteristics. Hopping it over rocks is easy. Jumping it around on the trail is super easy. It's, it's a smooth bike to ride. So my overall takeaway, just in a first impression, is it's just simply a mountain bike, back before there were categories. It's pretty good uphill. It's pretty good downhill. And the saying is normally that good is an enemy of greatness. But I think in this case, to truly be great, you have to look at the bigger picture. And this bike is wanting to be good all mountain. So everywhere. So it's really good up. It's really good down. Probably not the best climber, not the best descender, but darn good. And together that really creates a, a really good overall package that I have noted as an amazing all-arounder. So pretty dang good. So that's my first impressions of the Stump Jumper here. Spec wise, it's an expert. So you're running XL1 drivetrain. You got Fox Performance Elite 34 on the front, a uh, Evolve Fox Float rear shock, all the adjustments, SRAM G2 RSC brakes. I had those on my prior Stump Jumper. I really like them. They have a good amount of power. They're not downhill strong, but they're all mountain strong. The X Fusion Manic seat post, which I've been running on the Evo, love it. The rest of the system's pretty much finished out with specialized in house components. So, specialized tires, you got specialized bars, deity grips, specialized stem. Yeah, all around. First impressions of this bike are really good. So, who is this Stump Jumper for? I think it's really for just the all around rider, somebody that. Maybe a majority of your rides aren't massive, epic, all weekend rides. And if they are, this bike can totally handle that. But also if you're looking for a bike to squeeze an hour in after work and you don't quite know what your ride's gonna have in, in it, uh, what your route's gonna be, maybe you figure it out as you're on your way to the trail, this is gonna be the bike to grab. It's gonna pedal well uphill. It's super efficient on the downs. It's super smooth. It has pretty good ride characteristics all around. 
Um, so this is actually a bike I would probably be more inclined to go towards is a one bike quiver. So all in all, super impressed with this bike on my first impressions. I would love to get more time on it, uh, dial it in for me, and really just get to get intimate with it. Do some more climbing, some more downhilling, really get a feel for what this bike's about. But first impressions have really left my brain kind of getting the wheels turning as far as what could this bike become as I get it dialed in. Um, unfortunately, it's got to go back to the owner, but really stoked to get some time on it. So that means we'll do a uh, first impressions comparison between this and the Evo. Uh, that video should be linked somewhere on the side or somewhere over here. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, click that like button, subscribe, share it if you've got somebody that's curious about this bike. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.